everyone this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation so let's get going problem solve d square minus 9 into y equals to sine h 3x solution given differential equation d square minus 9 into y equals to sine h 3x which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 9 and Q equals to sine h 3x. So let's find order and degree of the given equation. Okay. So you can write d square minus 9 as into y. d square minus 9 into y as d square y minus 9y equals to and also we know that sine h a x equals to e power a x minus e power minus a x by 2 then for a equals to 3 you will get sin h 3 x equals to e power 3 x minus e power minus 3 x by 2 and also we know that differential operator d equals to d by d x then you can write d square as d square y by d x square minus 9 y equals to e power 3x minus e power minus 3x by 2. So, firstly, identify the highest derivative. Here, d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So, our order will be 2 and the power of or the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So, here, our degree is 1, right? Now coming to the problem. So you can write q as e power 3x minus e power minus 3x by 2. Okay. So now. We need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Okay, here we are given a non-homogeneous differential equation. So, we will find the solution using yc plus yp where yc is obtained from the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation using auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0. And yp is obtained by 1 by f of d into q. So, firstly, we will find the complementary function using the auxiliary equation. So, the auxiliary equation, we know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to replace differential operator d by m in this f of d. So, you will get f of m equals to m square minus 9. Now, the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 9 equals to 0, right? You can write this 9 as 3 square. Then, this of a square minus b square form, you can write it as a plus b into a minus b equals to 0. Equate each factor to 0, then you will get from m plus 3 equals to 0, you will get m equals to minus 3. And from m minus 3 equals to 0, you will get m equals to plus 3, right? So, you will get m equals to minus 3 and plus 3. So, we got the roots to this equation of this equation. Therefore, 
m equals to minus 3 plus 3 are the roots of f of m equals to 0 which are real and distinct. So from this we can write the complementary function. You know that if m1, m2 are two real and distinct roots, then yc is given by c1 constant into e power first root or one root into x plus c2 into e power another root into x. Then r complementary function will be constant into e power one root take minus 3 into x plus another root into e power another constant into e power another root into x right so therefore y is equals to c1 e power minus 3x plus c2 e power 3x now let's find the particular integral We know that particular integral is given by yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d, d square minus 9 into q sine h3x since sin h 3x equals to e power 3x minus e power minus 3x by 2. Then this becomes 1 by d square minus 9 into e power 3x minus e power minus 3x by 2. You can just write this as 1 by 2 into 1 by d square minus 9 into e power 3x minus e power minus 3x which is equals to 1 by 2 into 1 by d square minus 9 into first term minus 1 by d square minus 9 into second term now we can find each term separately. Firstly consider. So here we have yp of the form 1 by some f of d into e power ax where a is a real number. Right? A is a real number which is 3. Now we are having f of d equals to d square minus 9. So firstly let's find f of 3. We will get 3 square minus 9 which is equals to 9 minus 9 equals to 0. Since f of 3 equals to 0. So you can't replace d by 3 here. So what we will do? We will write x into 1 by find the derivative of this. 2d minus 9 into e power 3x. What we did here? We just will just find the derivative of f of d. So that you will get f dash of d. Okay. Now equals to we are having f dash of d equals to 2d. Right. So you won't get 9 minus 9 here. Since 9 is a constant, derivative of a constant is 0, so you will get only 2d, right? Now, find f dash of 3, we will get 2 into 3, which is equals to 6, not equals to 0. Since f dash of d is not equals to 0,
f dash of 3 is not equal to 0. So, we can apply the value of d here. We will get 2 into 3 equals to x by 2 3 is a 6 e power 3x which is equal to x e power 3x by 6. Now we can find second one one by d square minus 9 into e power minus 3x. Here you are having a equals to minus 3. Okay. So let's find f of minus 3. Which is equals to minus 3 whole square minus 9 equals to 9 minus 9 0. Since f of minus 3 equals to 0. So what we will do? We will find the derivative of this. That is f dash of d which is equal to 2d. Derivative of d square is 2d minus derivative of a constant is 0. Right? So, you will get, just write 1x into 1 by, write the derivative of this which is 2d into e power minus 3 into x. Right? What we did here, we just wrote x into 1 by f dash of d into e power ax. Right? For a equals to minus 3. Fine. Now, find f dash of minus 3. We will get 2 into minus 3 equals to minus 6. So, this equals to, since f dash of minus 3 is not equals to 0. So, you can replace the value of d by minus 3. Then, you will get 1 by 2 into minus 3 into e power minus 3x, which is equals to x by minus 6 into e power minus 3x, which is minus x e power minus 3x by 6. Right? Now coming to the particular integral. Now, you can just replace the results. Sorry. Just write the result obtained from this. x into e power 3x by 6 minus or result obtained from the second term. Minus x into e power minus 3x by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 into x e power 3x by 6 minus into minus plus x e power minus 3x by 6. Right? Now, what you can do is take x common and also 6 common. Into, you will get e power 3x plus e power minus 3x. We know that e power 3x plus e power minus 3x by 2 is cos h2x. So, what we have to do to this terms to get or to replace it with cos h2x, you need some 2, right? So, let's take this 1 by 2 inside the brackets. You'll get x into 1 by 6 is x by 6 into e power 3x plus e power minus 3x by 2, which is equal to x by 6 into cos h2x. Okay. Therefore, yp equals to x by 6 into cos h2x or just write x e power 3x by 2, 3, sorry, 2, 6 are 12. Plus x e power minus 3x by 2, 6 are 12. Or equals to yp equals to x e power 3x by 12 plus x e power minus 3x by 12.
therefore y p equals to x by 6 cos h 2 x or x e power 3 x by 12 plus x e power minus 3 x by 12. Now we can write the general solution. The general solution is you know that it is given by y equals to complementary function plus particular integral, right? Then y equals to yc c1 e power minus 3x plus c2 e power 3x plus for yp x by 6 cos h 2x See, this is 3x, not 2x. Okay. Since cos h ax equals to e power ax plus e power minus ax by 2, right? So, you'll get cos h 3x here. Or for yp, you'll get c1 e power minus 3x plus c2 e power 3x plus x e power 3x by 12 plus x e power minus 3x by 12. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.